Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for February to March 2021 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your overarching energy or message for the next month or two and see what we get. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Money and career, February to March 2021. What do we have for Capricorn money and career? February to March 2021. Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Cards on the table. So we have air. Seek a union of mind and spirit. I mean, air energy is to do with the mind, getting clarity, you know, and also trusting it with your intuition seeing things very clearly you know what are your instincts telling you is that bringing a new level of clarity about your situation yeah okay What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, I've got two cards here. So we have Bountiful Nature. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect with a lim limitless vastness. So there's some advice for you. It might well be in terms of clearing your mind on something here, Capricorn. And then we have let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you, whatever God means to you, um, unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So something about getting perspective here. Definitely the energy of if you're feeling any blame. It doesn't feel it's your fault here. And to get your head around something, see something clearly. The bountiful nature, get perspective. Okay, Capricorn, let's pull an overarching energy. This is the Tarot of Dreams. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. Message for Capricorn. Money and career only, please. What is the overarching message or energy? For February to March 2021, please. Angel Spirits Guides for Capricorn. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? The Ace of Cups. <gasps> new joy. It's new joy, new happiness. Um, really intuitive energy as well, Capricorn. So really trusting your intuition. It is a new beginning. Now, interestingly enough, the Ace of Cups, yes, this can be a physical new beginning self-love can lead to obviously in terms of love it can lead to new love bonds forming between people um can also be to do with new opportunities and so new creative opportunities opportunities very close to your heart something you really want a new door opening for you it feels very very beautiful here yeah it's absolutely gorgeous energy the cup of joy is offered to you. So whatever this challenge is that you've been dealing with, it feels things are going to start looking up. So Capricorn, I'm going to pull five cards. We'll clarify if we need to. So the first card is the issue or challenge you're dealing with. Second card is what's going for you. 
third card is essentially what's going against you or any issues or obstacles to overcome. Uh, fourth card is advice from spirit. And the fifth card is your outcome. Thank you. So the Ace of Wands is in the challenge position, which is also a new beginning energy. So the High Priestess is what's going for you. Intuition, that's what I was saying with those cards there. What's against you? We have the Fool. Queen of Wands is advice from Spirit. And the Page of Wands <laughs> is the outcome. Oh my goodness, we've got the start star at the bottom of the deck and I've, that literally just fell and it was with the ten of swords so I'll, I'll go through those quickly just literally flicked over okay so everything happens for a reason in reading so let's go with it so yeah I've told you about this oh my goodness things will start looking up a new door will open for you now yes you know the ace of cups can be emotional it's to do with our emotions and feelings so it can be a new emotional new beginning for you feeling good feeling happy you know something making you feel happy the beginnings of something new so certainly to do with that that could be to do with you yes this can be to do with creative offers opportunities or something very close to your heart something that you really want can be about bonds connections as well so you know take what resonates for you there it feels for some of you it feels for some of you you want some kind of opportunity and i'm definitely getting this energy of new powerful new beginnings you know, I've got new beginning, new beginning, new beginning, new beginning here. So a lot of the cards are new beginnings here. So it feels like for some of you, you just want to turn a page and go for something new and liberate yourself from something. Or it could be a company, place where you work. The Ace of Wands is an exciting opportunity. It's very much connected to heart and soul energy and the opportunity that you really want feels like there's been some delays here it does it feels like there's been some delays it feels like you've experienced setbacks and your current situation it feels like something is making you feel blame or just not good uh, I just don't get this good energy and there's a need to get your head around it a need to get perspective but it feels like you're trying to take action towards a new path this is a card of inspired action something that's very much connected to your heart and soul it could be you I mean it can be starting new business ventures um second you know lines of business but it feels like some opportunity I have to say you know business career opportunity you know, that is the predominant energy I'm getting from that. And it's just so much connected to your passion. This is something that will bring in the beginnings of growth, feel good energy, a new path for you. But I'm definitely getting delays here. What's going for you is intuitively, if you're acting on your intuition, you will absolutely go in the right direction. This is where this, this comes in. The clarity, the clarity, the mental clarity comes from acting on your intuition. You know, it feels like, you know, getting your mind around something, but very intuitively trusting your instincts to deal with situations, to reconnect to who you are, your soul power, your soul light, to align to your soul path is again very much connecting to your intuition here. So acting on your instincts is absolutely paramount this month or the next month or two. The an understanding, you know, I'm definitely getting reading between the lines of a situation if you're dealing with someone who is blaming you or making you feel less than or questioning your abilities. I don't know why I'm getting that Capricorn, but you know, um, this is about connect to your truth, stay in your truth, 
read between the lines, see beyond the obvious about their motivations, you know, that kind of energy of who they are. You know, it's that kind of energy. She's like pure energy, you know, the, the high priestess, pure divine energy. So don't let it touch you. Because again, what's going against you? I'm feeling delays here, the new beginning, this powerful new beginning. And again, it's in, even interesting. It's looking like the wand there, isn't it? I want this wand. I want this new beginning here. I want to take a leap of faith into that new path, but I'm definitely experiencing setbacks here. It feels, I mean, if you're holding back for whatever reason, the message is act. Now is the time to take action. Um, but it definitely feels for some of you, it definitely feels for some of you, you've experienced some setbacks, delays, Capricorn. But nevertheless, the Queen of Wands, card of Aries actually, so you might be dealing with an inspired leader. Um, and she's holding the wand here again, you see. She's holding this opportunity. So the message is, there could be somebody who will be offering you the opportunity, a leader, a magnetic, charismatic leader. It feels this is opening a new chapter for you in terms of money, career, finances, um, business, you know, development and so on and so forth. She is off, She is holding the opportunity that you really want. Male or female energy, but this is a real charismatic leader, a go-getter. Somebody who leads by example, who is not afraid of doing hard work, who will roll the sleeves up and get stuck in, you know. The, the Queen of Wands is a really enigmatic leader, charismatic. Um, and it feels she is holding the opportunity and this is the advice from spirit she will it feels like she is offering you this opportunity the opportunity is coming there may well be some delays obstacles that you've been experiencing here this door not quite opening still dealing with issues in your current situation but the message is if you keep taking action if you keep on aligning to the path that you want to be on you're intuitively led to there is definitely somebody here who is offering this exciting opportunity. And this is the beginnings of it. You know, the page of one's the outcome, the good news to do with the opportunity that you want. I love the energy here. The page of one's is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, message of good news to do with some kind of career or business opportunity. You know, so I see this wand, this evolution, this process happening for you this in the next month or two. It feels like you'll be going through some stages. There may well be one or two step backs. Don't worry, you know, keep, you know, rise above situations. Stay in your own power. Don't let anything touch you. Anybody who wants to bring you down. There is definitely an energy of there might well be some setbacks, but the new chapter is opening up for you. And it starts with this, the page of wands leading to some kind of offer. And it is. Because we had, didn't we, the Ten of Pentacles, which is success, a goal achievement. Um, you might be getting more money here as well, Capricorn. Um, so Ten of, of Coins is sustainable success, long-term success, a goal achievement in terms of money, career, finances, material wealth, financial security and stability. So I love that card for that reason. It is a goal achievement energy. And we have it with the star, which is the divine wish fulfillment, the divine blessings. So there is hope here. This is the hope. You are absolutely on the right path. Um, you will receive the blessings. Again, divine wish fulfillment associated with this ten of pentacles. So if you're stressed, anxious, and this is where this card comes in with the nine of swords. Keep your head. Keep your head trust your instinct, see beyond the obvious, realize people's motivations, rise above situations, you know, that want to bring you down, because it will, it can do in this energy. The nine of swords can be stress, anxiety, worry, to the point where these things can really get into your own head if you're not careful. The message is keep your head, trust your intuition, you will read between the lines of a situation and focus on what is going to bring you happiness and joy because the happiness is coming and it's coming in the form of some financial career goal achievement here. 
um, good news to do with an opportunity. So I love this energy. So don't worry. If you're worrying, the message is don't worry. Stay focused. Get perspective. Okay. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Final message for Capricorn. Money and career, please. Final message, message for Capricorn. Money and career, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Yeah, look, you know, we have the raven. Wise woman, a change is coming. The change is coming. What did I say? The page of wands, it brings change. Uh, the beginnings of something new, what you've been working towards, what you've taken action towards. So that is just confirmation that you are absolutely being guided, absolutely being guided um, towards this new level of goal achievement. Maybe getting some more money as well, Capricorn. Definite energy of you are not to blame in this situation. Let go of the guilt, let go of the blame. Don't, there's definitely this energy of keep your head. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. A month or two for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.